all you starfighters out there, Commander Kingfish here, and we are doing side missions today. So I've got to start cleaning up my activities. I have a bunch of them down here. And so the first one we're going to start with is uh, speak with R Ravika, which is on Sidonia. So we're going to go to see Ravika and find out what she needs. So let's go ahead and hit the fast travel. Uh, let's set course. Let's land. And we should be coming up. Mars, eh? You always take me to the nicest places. Of course. And we've got Sarah tagging along. So, well, if Sarah starts getting in the way, I guess I'll just have to uh, have her stay, stay back or stop following. But I am doing the main missions now on uh, the Constellation mission, and so she's going to be kind of tagging along with me. All right, so Ravika... What do you have for me today? Just because the governor's office is right out there on the main level, doesn't mean it's nothing to do. Down, down, down. Been a while, so I got this in passing when I was doing some of the Mars missions. And looks like she is down below. So looks like one of the workers down there. So I have no idea what this mission entails. It could just be a just a short little mission, but we're gonna see what uh, <clears throat> what Ravika has to say. Okay, here we are, Ravika. Sidonia is nice <coughs> for a mining colony, I guess. Okay, hold on, Ravika. Come back here. I gotta talk to you. Down here, gathering rocks for a living when there's an entire universe to explore. Oh, sh shut up, Sarah. Don't shoot me with that thing. Since you helped us out with the equipment and all, <coughs> I was wondering if I could talk to you. <coughs> sure. Hope you're okay. That cough doesn't sound good at all. It's. It's probably <coughs> not, but I can't afford to go get it looked at. <coughs> uh, you should go see a doctor. I'm sure they can find a way to help. I know. I wish it were that easy. Actually, maybe this is wrong. You're a total stranger. Forget I said anything. No, really, I want to help. Let's see, medicine. You definitely need to see an actual doctor or your condition will get worse. You could die. Really? That bad? I... Well, it's clear you want to help. Maybe I can trust you. See, I'd like to go to Reliant Medical for treatment, but my father, Nathan, is an executive with Reliant. I came to Sidonia to escape him. Nathan is not a good man. Not to me. And I did something terrible to him, so now he is searching far and wide for me. He has connections with doctors throughout the settled systems. I don't know which ones I can trust, and it won't end well for me if they snitch to him. Uh... What happened with uh, your father? Why is he trying to track you down? It's worse than you think. I didn't just... <coughs> run away from him. I knocked him unconscious, then stole his ship while he was out cold. Trust me, it was warranted at the time. After I ditched it above Aquila, I bounced around the... <coughs> settled systems until I landed here. It's the last place I thought he'd find me. But all that changes if I pop up in the Reliant database. He'll know I'm in Sidonia, and he'll never stop looking for me. Last I heard, he no longer cares for my safety. He only wants revenge. 
I have little doubt he would throw me in jail for as long as possible. Or false. Uh, I could pay your father a visit if you'd like. <coughs> Trevor tells me you're skilled in dealing with people. Maybe you could try to reason with my father, or maybe scare him into backing off. But you should know. He has powerful and dangerous friends, so you must be careful. If it works, I'll be free. If not, well, at, at least he still won't know where to find me. <coughs> what do you think? I'll do it. Just tell me where to find him. It just so happens there's a conference he goes to on Neon around this time of year. He always stays at Hotel Volai. He won't see visitors he doesn't know, but maybe he'll talk if you tell him you're there on my behalf. It's risky, but maybe he'll listen if he knows you mean him no harm. I've got it. Bring him a bottle of his favorite whiskey, Red Harvest Reserve. Say it's... <coughs> It's a peace offering from me. That whiskey is exceedingly rare. I'm sure it will pique his interest enough to hear what you have to say. Got it. I'll see what I can do to get you out of this mess. Good luck. You can check with Jack at the Broken Spear for the whiskey. He may have some or <coughs> know where to get it. And thank you so much for trying to help me. Okay. We All right. Talk. When you have the time. Reminder. Can I help? Any now that we have a moment, I wanted to ask how you're feeling. After your experience at the temple, you've given everyone at the lodge quite a scare. I don't feel any different than I felt before. I discovered the place. Hmm. I find that to be rather surprising. According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body or your mind? I appreciate the concern, but I promise you I feel perfectly fine. Well, good. I'm pleased to hear that. That temple proves we're dealing with entities of unknown origin. The problem is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. I don't think benevolent beings would have granted me this new ability. Hmm. Perhaps. It's just that... Oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Anything else is just guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. Uh, I would have thought this would be exciting for you. Oh, believe me, this is positively exhilarating. Think about the significance of this research. The questions it raises alone are mind-boggling. Who was this wondrous structure built to accommodate? How long ago did these entities inhabit our universe? Are they still out there? Somewhere. Well, maybe these temples were intended for humankind all along. Perhaps. We'll need more data to be sure. Yeah. It's funny. I used to think the artifacts were the end-all be-all of scientific discovery. The pinnacle mystery of our time. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this. Whatever it is. Unharmed. I couldn't ask for a better partner on this strange journey. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you. Look, I've already taken up too much yep. of your time. All I can do is promise that I'm not going to make you deal with this mystery alone. Whatever might be happening, I'll be right here to help you every step of the way. Caution. When you have a few the moments, there's okay, Sarah. to discuss. Be advised right. to secure loose article and find stable ground or remain seated in the event of a tremor. Okay. Let's uh, get going. We got to go to Neon. Eight, five, All four, right. Three, two, two, one. Ah. Uh, Mars. What a wonderful place. Okay. Particle detonation concluded. 
It is now safe to resume normal Let's activity. Pass or get to stay. All right, let's see something here. I need to, uh, let's check. Oh man, okay. Let's go to Runaway. I believe this is Obtain the Red Harvest Reserve Whiskey. I don't, uh, let's check my inventory first. Uh, I, th I actually might have even have had something what do we got that's new items? Aliens, you think? Oh, never mind. All right, let's go to aid. Red harvest. No, I just got the pale L. All right. Let's, uh, okay, let's go see if Jake can help me find some reserve, which I think is up here. Around the corner right over and in here i believe am i yeah. glad i got this job instead of mining some dead oh. rock out in the middle of nowhere oh come on get out of my way <clears throat> hey jack jack a lot of new faces passing through the jack I've turns drinks here for over 40 years few places I, can offer that kind that of stability I, I hear you're the man to see about red harvest reserve whiskey i am but you don't look like the type that could afford it. Trust the last me. The person that came through here asking about it was none other than Governor Hurst. Didn't even want to drink it. Said he was buying it to put it on display in his office or something. Seems like a waste, but eh, whatever. He paid up. All right. I'll pay it. It can't be that expensive. I can almost guarantee it's more than you think. So... Are you sure about that? Money bags. Here, 15,000 credits. Fine, I'll pay it. Well, you just got yourself some premium red harvest reserve, my friend. All right. Okay. Well, I guess it pays to have been doing all of those missions and 15,000 is a piece of cake. So I'm going to guess that by the time this is done, we're probably not going to make more than what we've already spent. But hey, it's a side mission. Okay, I will see you on uh, at the uh, hotel, Bali in Neon. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. Yeah, what is it? Again? Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking, so I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Uh-huh. Well, you never mentioned your predecessor to me before. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. All right, come After on. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like we're making good memories of our own. Ah, Aja must have been quite an amazing person. Ah, she absolutely was. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Well... The rookie being paired with the chair sounds awfully familiar. Hey, so I pinched a few ideas from my old boss. <laughs> Can you blame me? At any uh, rate, we logged quite a few discoveries together, but it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Did you two discover anything I might have heard about? We catalogued unusual stellar phenomena, a few habitable worlds, and some unique life forms, but nothing SSNN would bother to report. Oh, okay. I can relate to that. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. Okay. Come there on. was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend. While listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. Yeah, okay. 
So I take it I'm the protege on this journey. At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protege and moved up the ladder. A bit. You know, um, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. Okay. I miss her dearly. Okay. Ah, come on. Uh, sounds like the two... Sounds like you two were in love. I respected her, and I considered her a dear friend. But we weren't in love. Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit, and I could make proper introductions. Oh. Let's see. I don't know. Uh, well, hopefully... Are you sure? Uh, well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, uh, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, <laughs> that's what intrigues me about you. Okay. Well, you certainly have me all figured out. Good. Then we're both on the same page. Anyway... That's all I had to discuss for now, so if you'd point the way, we can continue our journey. All right. It's about time. All right. So, uh, where do we got to go? Uh, let's see. Let's make sure. Go to the Hotel Volley. All right. And that is right over here, it looks like. Well, with all signs pointing to the Astral Lounge, I suppose we should pay it a visit purely for experience. Oh, at some point. All right. Choice accommodations at reasonable prices. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. Okay. Well, that is... Uh... Well, that's a pleasant surprise. <laughs> that's the first thing that all of my guests say. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. All right. Uh, I didn't think such a business existed on this world. Indeed it does. And all it took was a dash of my own ingenuity to make it happen. But that's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? I have a, I have a delivery, a Red Harvest Reserve whiskey for a, a Nathan Ovadia from his daughter. Oh, how nice! His daughter must be feeling very generous to be sending him something like that. Mr. Ovadia is in his room on the third floor. I'll buzz him and let him know you're on your way. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, actually, the first thing we got to do, since we're going to probably have to do a little negotiating here, let's take some aid. And we might as well use one of these. Uh, let's take one of those. And let's put the fitted business suit on. And let's uh, let's head up third floor. Okay, where do we need? To, I I guess it's right here. And this is who we need to speak well, with. let's make this quick. Red Harvest Reserve, huh? I assume this is from my daughter. Well, she knows how to get my attention. Uh-huh. So what then? You're working with her? She thinks this will be enough to smooth things over between us? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm here to talk to you about Ravika. The whiskey was just to get me in the door. Oh, of course it was. Ah, I should have not been so blind. You have no idea what you're doing. 
You need to tell me where she is this instant. My own daughter assaults me in my own home, steals my personal spacecraft, then runs off to who knows where. Now you think a friendly little chat is going to smooth it all over and make things better? How foolish do you think I am? All right. Let's, uh, I know I caught you off guard. We could take our time if you need it, need be. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm still collecting my thoughts. Okay, so. Here's the, uh, red whiskey. Please accept the whiskey. Hmm. My daughter knows me well. Maybe she is serious about this. And, uh, let's see. I got one turn left. Do you really hate Ravika? Hate? No, of course not. But she mustn't be lawless. I suppose I've overreacted. She was young and while foolish, she is still my daughter. And Rivka is all I have left of my wife. I would do her a disservice to incriminate her daughter like that. Okay. I take it this means you'll forgive Ravika then? Yes. Tell her I will drop the charges immediately and call off the bounty hunters. And I suppose I will seek her out to talk. I may just need a little time to figure out how to say what I need to say. Thank you. I'm glad we're all in agreement that family is more important than anything, and that we were able to resolve this without bloodshed. Of course. All right. So, that's the thing. Sarah's always got a butt in. Where in the hell is she at? Oh, she's in the elevator already. All right. Let's, uh, lobby floor. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, get out and and so I think we need to return to Ravika. Let's set course and land at Cydonia. So it cost while me we're here. We should definitely stock up on supplies at the exchange. Okay, sure thing, Sarah. Sure thing. Okay, let's go see Ravika. And... Let's, uh... Get in. Through the airlocks. Alright, here we go. Cydonia. I need to do something here real quick. All right. Let's uh, find. Us book that Hank guy. Good job. Let's uh, find uh, Ravika. She's probably down there mining away. And hopefully, everybody will be happy and we've got the side mission completed. All right, down we go. Down, down, down. All right. Okay, where are we at? Okay. Oop. Ooh. All right. Okay. Ravika, good news. Good news. <coughs> I received an urgent message from my father. He's dropped the charges. It yeah. will still be difficult. There's a lot we need to speak about, but I think we may be able to mend our relationship, thanks to you. Mm hmm That's good to hear. I'm glad it worked out. Of course. <laughs> we will be taking things slow. There is a lot of trust to rebuild. But he acknowledged and apologized for his past behavior. That is a good first step, and I'm willing to let him back into my life beat by beat as long as he proves his words and commits to change. Without your intervention, this would not have been possible. <laughs> and I can finally treat this. Thank you. I cannot repay you enough. Okay, so 
$4,300 credits and good XP. Again, uh, I uh, did say that uh, it was probably going to cost us more than what we were going to make on this, but hey, that's okay. We got to travel around. Got to go back to Neon for a bit, brief bit. Okay, well, if you like this uh, side mission, please hit that thumbs up and uh, please, uh, it really helps out the video. And please subscribe, that'll really help out the channel. And hit that bell, it will let you know when I am uh, uploading new videos and I'm doing that on a regular basis. Okay, all you starfighters out there, keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone.